Hey everybody, Mike Hill from Triton Insurance Group in Tampa, Florida. I looked at the calendar last night and realized that we are almost exactly six weeks away from the start of 2018 hurricane season. Feeling like we just got over Hurricane Irma and the wave of hurricanes that came through our lives last year. I'm still a little bit uh, affected from last year. Boxes around my house and uh, still feeling a little bit uh, drained, if you will, from that hurricane. I think, honestly, I think January, February, I fully recovered physically and mentally from it. The agency was rough with claims for several months and uh, it was a crazy period. But the dose of reality is hitting that we need to start making plans, start thinking about what can happen and getting yourself and your family ready for, for her, this upcoming hurricane season. In a minute, I'm going to give you five things you need to do ASAP on your house now versus waiting until mid-June or until the hurricane cone is heading this way. But the first thing I want to just tell you is that here's the forecasts that have come out. In, uh, in uh, December, TSR, Tropical Storm Risk, came out and said, and this is in December, they came out and said, that 2018 is going to be above average year for hurricanes. And these are hurricane modeling companies. This is what they do, right? So they came out and said it's going to be above average. Then the, the brain bank that the industry looks at is Colorado State University. Colorado State University came out and says slightly above average. Ready? With 14 named storms seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. That same day, that same day, TSR changed their prediction, changed their prediction from being above average to below average. With 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and two major storms. The same day, North Carolina University came out and said, well above average also with 14 to 18 named storms, 7 to 11 hurricanes, and 3 to 5 major storms. So, major hurricanes. What you got to remember about this, you don't look at the major storms. A tropical storm, like Tropical Storm Sandy, that smashed New York, was just that. That was considered a minor event. It was a monster, but it was not a hurricane. So tropical storms, hurricanes, all it takes is that one to hit you and your location and your life will, will be turned upside down if you're not prepared. So here's five things that you need to do now. The first thing is because April showers bring May flowers and we're getting smashed right now with a little bit of rain. It's not too bad. Right? But that gives us a pilot to see how your house handles the water drainage. So go outside your house when it's raining, put on a raincoat, go out, observe your gutters, observe buildup of water anywhere around your house. I stepped out the side the front door, walked over by the side of my house, and had my foot sunk into the mud because there was so much water by the side of my house. So I have some drainage issues at my house. You can call Tampa Bay Plumbers. He's in a different video here. That's one of their specialties that they, that, they, uh, that they do is not just fixing a broken toilet, but they'll also help you look at your drainage of water on your house. So that's vital. Get your gutters cleaned out, right? The next thing is you need to get a, 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 a tube of caulk. I'd recommend clear caulk because I caulked my house last year with white caulk, and it looked horrible. I had to repaint a whole section of my house. So use clear caulk, go out the side of your house, look for all the cracks in the stucco. Look for stucco cracks anywhere, go around window seals, and make sure that your home is free from any kind of water intrusion through cracks. Go crazy, caulk, use clear caulk, and it doesn't, doesn't show like the barn jobbed work that you do if you're not a true professional with a caulk gun, right? The other thing is you should look at your roof. And think about, I know roofs are not cheap, but hurricane comes and you, had, you were tested last year and you had a little bit of water damage, well, that affected your roof's integrity. 
You can call Doug Ford at Suncoast Roofing. <clears throat> Shameless plug, but these guys are stellar in their reputation. You call Doug Ford, Suncoast Roofing, get yourself priced out, see what the new roof is. Because guess what? Remember after hurricane season, you could not get a roof replaced. It, you were, they were backed up months. There's actually still people in certain areas that have blue tarps because of roofers being backed up in Florida. So it's crazy to think there's that much demand, but your life is turned upside down if your roof leaks and water enters your house. It stinks, it's horrible, it's more than an inconvenience for you and your family. So bite the bullet and get a, get a new roof if your roof is questionable. Ready for the next thing? Get yourself weather radios. You need to communicate. You need to be able to communicate. Remember the power went down? What I'd recommend is getting, and you're supposed to have a license to have a VHF, UHF ham radio, but the federal government basically considers these phones uh, or these uh, radios almost toys, but this is the radio that I use. I also have a 100 watt ham radio on my car, but this radio, it's called Bayphone, Bayphone UV5R. Go online, order it from Amazon, and have one delivered to your house. They'll cost anywhere from, I've seen them for 18 bucks, and I've seen them for 35 bucks. Get one, get two. You can scan all the emergency channels, the emergency operations center in, in your county or the state emer emergency operations channels. You can scan all that. They're also fun. You can scan it. You can hear airlines. You can't, if you don't have a license, you can't talk. But you can still listen and get an idea about what's going on with the, with the weather and track the storm almost half hour by half hour, minute by minute as needed. The other thing you need to do is buy flood insurance. I don't care if your house is in flood zone X and your, your real estate agent or the mortgage broker or even you know your insurance guy said, oh, you're in flood zone X, you don't need flood insurance. I'm telling you right now, you need flood insurance. Mother Nature and God doesn't know where water is going to be. You don't control it. Mother Nature and God control where the weather is going to dump. And all it takes is an inch of water coming into your house and you will have flood. Your homeowner, homeowner's policy does not cover that type of water damage. A flood policy, $200, $400, $500, will give you peace of mind when that storm is coming. So you need to think now, because there's a waiting period on most flood policies. So you cannot just get flood insurance three days before a hurricane even though last year we did 160 flood policies four days prior to the hurricane through some of the new cool private flood options that are available. It's not always just federal flood, there's also private flood, which are very cool options for you to review. Stay safe, more to come, thank you very much.